Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. Let's talk about Nicholas and Ava for a minute because I'm not gonna lie, for the first few minutes of watching this, I'm just in there thinking, Ava, when do you actually plan on telling Nicholas that you got his son arrested? Now, granted, I fully support that idea. I mean, let's be honest, Spencer has never really actually, I mean, Spencer has never actually had any consequences towards his actions, which is why he's always pushed the envelope so much. I mean, how he even says to himself, oh, I've never had to sit there and apologize a lot, so I never really had to apologize, so, you know, I'm just, I'm still getting used to it or something like that. And I'm like, bro, are you kidding me? So, to be honest, jail, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. Um, so in the beginning, they talk about everything else under the sun. <laughs> Until we get to Spencer. And that's when Ava was like, uh, so just let you know, um, he's in jail. Adam said they're like, well, finally. <laughs> I was like, when would you plan on telling them? Like, seriously, when would you plan on telling them? Now, at first, he's surprised, and he's like, yo, you, you, you got my son arrested? Like, what, what are you doing? But then, you know, when Ava brings up everything, um, what he's done, he's like, oh, okay. And plus, you know, Ava was like, it's not even just about all the other stuff that he did, which is true, but it's about a level of respect. You know? And he, <laughs> he agrees. Um... And she's like, you know what? He needs tough love. And he agrees. So, um... I don't even know what to make of that situation. I mean... She's not wrong. And I'm glad that he did come to the senses as far as, like, discarding his son. But she only came to that, you know, conclusion once he talked to Alexis. Okay, is it my imagination... And maybe I'm just... Thinking about this off the dome, but does does Alexis seem to come across more as a mother figure than Laura? Thoughts? Speaking of Alex, I mean, speaking of Alexis, Alexis was not there talking to Sean, and you know, they're talking about crying Clark and all this other stuff. Now, I'm gonna sit there and ignore the fact that I'm pretty sure it wasn't Sean was the one that knew about um, Nicholas actually being the shooter of Hayden Barnes. I wasn't too sure, was it was it him or was it Curtis? I know it was somebody, I, I, I think it was Curtis. Anyway, there's not there talking about this whole shooting thing and stuff and the whole Craig and Clark thing. And, um, well, <laughs> Sean pretty much told Alexis that, yeah, I think that um, Nicholas has something to do with it as far as her shooting. And at first, you know, she's like, you know what? I can't even sit there and say that you could be wrong. But long story short, because of everything that Alexis did for Sean, Sean was like, listen, I'm going to sit there and I'll drop it if you want me to. If you want me to sit there and drop it and be like, you know what? I'm just going to drop the whole investigation, you know, after what you did. If it's Nicholas, I'm just not going to really pursue it. But... Alexis decided, you know what, listen, it's the right thing to do, justice and all, so I'm with it. Um, I did think it was actually kind of bigger Sean to do because, you know, Nicholas stole years of his life with that whole thing. No, well, hold on. There was a point where <laughs> he didn't watch it. Anyway, um, point is, you know, he was willing to sit there and drop it for Alexis because of what Alexis did. And, I don't know, I, I, that's, that's, that's big of him, so. I'm not going to lie, even when I was listening to saying that, I was like, I feel like my I'm getting my facts mixed up. Um, yeah, no, now I remember. Um... <laughs> It took me a minute because I didn't, here's the thing, I didn't actually watch, like I took a break from watching GH, 
Um, and I was going to sit there and ask, like, what is Sean actually go to jail for? And then I'm like, oh, wait, now I remember. So Jax talks to Sonny, and pretty much Jax winds up defending Nina. I mean, yeah, he's like, you know, listen, I'm not going to, you know, try to defend her actions or anything like that. But then he goes along and he starts defending her actions, and I'm just like... You know what, at this point, I'm not even too surprised. I'm really not surprised. He pretty much tells her to go, and he pretty much tells Sonny to go easy on her. And Sonny's like, I'm not, like, what are you, are you nuts? Now, you know, Sonny was sitting there saying that Nina stole, you know, time away from his family. And I'm like, well, yes and no. I mean, Nina, here's the thing, Nina didn't kidnap Sonny. Nina didn't say anything, and yeah, that's wrong in itself. And by that, you know, by that whatever, yeah. I mean, there was time lost because she didn't sit there and tell the truth and do the right thing. Despite the amount of unkindness that Sonny shown Nina. So yeah, but... I don't know, I guess the whole statement of, you know, she took time away from my family, I was like, no, she didn't take time away from your family, she, she didn't kidnap you, you know, like, this is something that happened, because you were sitting there, you know, with Julian on the bridge, you lost your memories, a bunch of other stuff happened, and she just happened to keep her mouth shut, so, I'm like, I wouldn't sit there and say she stole time from you, but... Because she didn't come, tr you know, she didn't come honest with you. You know, you lost time because of her lies, because of her, you know, lying to you. But he does sit there and thanks Jack, so that's something. Um, <laughs> like Jax, listen, you better sit there and take that thank you now because um, I don't really see you. I don't really see that happening moving forward. Just. Just saying. Phyllis comes to see Nina, and at this point, I'm like, everyone else is more or less giving her a pass, so to be honest, I'm not really too surprised that, you know, she's giving Nina a pass. You know, even though, <laughs> you know, she's partly responsible for your bar bringing down. But, you know, she explains that about, oh, it's not the bar, it's the people and the memories. And, like, yeah, that's all good and true. But, I mean, like, still, you know, her lies, <laughs> you know, caused your bar to get burned down. But whatever. Um, I don't know. I guess I kind of look at it this way, too. Like, oh, my goodness. And I cannot believe I'm actually going to sit there and say this, but. I guess I can understand why she's turning a cheek a little bit about that because Nina did give um, Phyllis and Lenny the money for his treatment and stuff. And she didn't have to do that. You know, just to have a little more time with her husband. So I can, I guess in that in that sense, I could be like, all right, I can, yeah, I, I, I understand that. One thing I am glad about is that she didn't sit there and try to meddle and be all like, oh, I think you should sit there and try to go back out with Sonny or Mike or whatever you want to call them and, you know, be in a relationship with them. Now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was reading a, um, somebody's comment a couple of days ago. And then I was sitting there thinking, all right, so now after months, are you sitting there trying to get Sonny together with Nina? You finally come in Sonny's house and you see his wife. And I'm sitting there thinking, how does that feel? How does that feel knowing that you are in her presence? And yet, not that long ago, you were sitting there telling her, her husband that you knew he was married to, oh, just pretty much forget about her and go out with this other woman. Like, what, what is the thought process behind that? Oh, by the way, like, you know, if you're Phyllis, oh, by the way, just let you know, uh, full disclosure, I did sit there and try to, you know, hook up your husband with someone else, because, you know, past is the past, right? It's like, I cannot be the only person that was sitting there thinking about that. It's just, it took me a little bit longer to think about that now. 
Gladys is up to her usual shenanigans, and I'm going to be honest, this just seems like... You know, at this point, I'm not even upset with the way Gladys is acting today, because this is usually how she acts. I mean, she sounds really stupid when she talks. Let's sit there and think about this for a minute. She was just in there counting her lucky stars that she was not in the limousine of a mob guy. What does she sit there and tell her son to do? Oh, you can work for Sonny. Why won't you work for Sonny? He has all that money. <laughs> How does that even work? Now, granted, I will sit there and say, you know, she brought up the fact that Sonny does have legitimate businesses. The problem with those legitimate businesses is that it's still owned by Sonny. So, even if he's not there opening up, I don't know, a candy store, it has Sonny's name on it. It's attached to him. So, the violence is still going to sit there and follow him, no matter if he works in a warehouse, um, working with Jason, or working at, what was that place he used to sit there and co-own or whatever, Perks? Out of the way, it's Sonny's name attached to it. So... Her whole argument about, oh, well, it's a legitimate business, it just doesn't really mean anything. Um, she does that for about a good 20 minutes, like give or take, and then when she's done with that, then, um, while Sasha and Brando's not there looking at babies, she just decides to come on in between and just be all sorts of annoying, like usual. Like I said, the sad part is that when she used to do that, I used to get so annoyed. Like her just being stupid and annoying. And I was just like, yeah, this seems about right with her. Carly decided, you know what? Today's today, I'm going to sit there and go to war with Nina. So she's getting ready to sit there and try to call up Jax. And I don't know, I guess she's going to sit there and evict Nina or whatever. Which is like, alright, cool. So she got evicted and she just has to find a new office. Tell me that's not the best that you're going to sit there and do, right? Um, but Jason, long story short, does talk her down. Does sit there and talk her down, and that's when Carly is like, you know what, maybe... Because, I don't know the time length or whatever, but it seems like he's been back for a while. And, um, you know, Carly's like, she wants to sit there and be honest with Sonny and tell him all about, you know, the actual feelings that took place, and... You know, I'm just like, she's, she's like, she's going to be afraid that things are going to be different moving forward with the three of them. And I'm just not there looking at it like, um, let's be honest, that recipe, when I was younger, I was like, oh man, the three trio, they're so great together and it's just, it's just amazing. And now I'm just like, bro, the fact that your wife is that close to him, it, it will put anyone off. Like, this is a disaster for so many reasons. Your wife is way too close to him. On top of that, Jason doesn't really have a love life because, well, Carly pretty much kind of dictates everything and she comes first. And I still can't give over the fact that what she said yesterday about she's the price of a mission. Like, are you kidding me? Even when I do like Carly at times, I'm just still like, wow. Um, but yeah, she wants to sit there and tell, you know, Sonny the truth. But then she goes and she's, it's like she, she talks about that with Jason. And Jason doesn't sit there and try to stop her. But then she's just like, meanders off to like, oh, well, you know, there's sometimes where Sonny's Sonny and Sonny's not Sonny. And I just can't sit there and tell, and it's just so awkward, and, you know, he had all these experiences and everything like that. And I'm like, what happened to the conversation before? Did I miss something? It's like you started off one way, and then you were just like, oh, well, Sonny's not Sonny, and blah, 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 and I don't know. And, you know, Jason was like, you know what, Sonny's back. And so I'm just like, why don't you just be grateful that he's back instead of being like, Oh, well, you know, yesterday he wasn't acting like a self, and, you know, I'm like, bro, he just came back. Give him a minute. Hell, he just lived an entirely different life. And now he has memories of that life, I guess his personality shift or whatever, and that 
and who he is now, you have to give him some time. Um, but let's be honest. Sonny's kind of, you know, he's keeping some secrets of himself. Um, to himself as far as the whole having feelings for Nina. And towards the end of the episode, he does go to visit um, Crimson. Now, I don't understand why. I mean, I know that Phyllis said that she didn't give him back the watch because she didn't want to remind him of any painful memories or anything like that. But I'm like, so you're going to give it to her because why? Did you not just hear when she was practically sitting there telling you that Sonny doesn't want to have anything to do with me? So, like, wh what are you giving the watch to give it to, to, to Sonny? What are you giving Nina the watch to give it to Sonny for? What is that supposed to do? Be some sort of closure or something? Like, I don't... They're in the same town. Like, I just... I'm not gonna lie. Sounds kind of stupid when I say it out loud. I don't know. Like usual, I feel like I've covered through the majority of it. If I missed anything, please write it down in the comment section below. Um, I just want to sit there and take another minute to thank every... I just want to sit there and take a moment to thank everyone for watching um, my JH reviews. Just in general, even when you watch it, like the next day or whenever. Because this, like I said, has become my unexpected dream job. Um, I never really thought in years that I'll be doing a video and talking to people, you know, and just having a lot of fun and, and just getting to connect with people about, you know, soap operas and just different things. And um, I don't know, long story short. I just want to sit there and say thank you um, for the information, just for helping me out. And, you know, even when I come out with my videos super late, people still watch. And I just, I cannot be more grateful for having just such amazing subscribers. So, I just want to sit there and say thank you. And with that being said, I'm going to go. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. Be safe. Let me just throw something in the comment section below. See you in the next video.